Hey everybody, I'm Sean Briscom. Welcome to day 16. We're moving right along in our weekly training here. This week we're focusing on a tool called the stack. And the stack is a unique uh, series of questions that allow us to, to interrupt the triggers that are going on in our life and interrupt the, the, uh, the feelings and the stories that we start telling ourselves and telling others about certain circumstances and situations that are acted on upon us um, from the outside. And so we're, we're gonna go through this again really quickly just as a review. In the first phase of the stack is the dark. And the dark is a terrifying place to be for most, most people, most anybody, men, women, children, it doesn't matter. We, we fear the dark, but what we don't understand is that the reason that we're in the dark is because of this thing called the trigger. Something is acted upon us. Something triggers us. It could be an external event. It could be a person saying something. It could be the way that the barista uh, made your, your latte at Starbucks. It doesn't matter. You can get triggered, and immediately when you get triggered, you start to tell stories about what is the circumstance. And those stories are driven by feelings. The feelings actually create desires for us to do something. And those desires move us into action. And so let's go back again and review. We've got inside of the dark. We've got the, the trigger that instantly gets us into the dark. It puts the blinders on us and we can't see reality. What happens is we start to tell ourselves stories about certain circumstances, situations, people, places, things, stuff that's happening to us. We, we, we literally become victims of what's going on around us because of the stories that we tell ourselves. And those stories are so powerful because they come with them. They start to bring up all of these emotions and these feelings that we don't know how to deal with. And those feelings drive desires. You know, we, we start with a story, you know, you're a jerk. I'm a jerk. We're both being jerks to each other. And, and that story creates feelings, anger, frustration, resentment, whatever it is. Those feelings create desires. I want to punch this person. I want to run away from this person. I don't want to have this person in my life. I want to drop this client like a, like a hot potato. They're a pain in my ass. Those are the desires driven by feelings. And the actions are how we actually behave. What is the next move that you, that you make? What are you going to do next? And so, again, your assignment is very simple today. Today was an easy one. Number one, we're going to teach the concept of the dark and what happens in the dark. And then we're going to actually do. We're going to do the assignments on this page because if we can't, if we can't do the stuff, then, then it means that we don't really know the stuff if we don't really know the stuff, then we can't teach it to other people. And so your assignment is very simple. Number one, teach the concept of the dark and the stages of the dark. Let's go through them really quickly again. Inside of the dark, we get triggered by something. Something hits us from outside or internally. That trigger creates a story in our head. That story drives feelings and emotions that fuel that story. And out of the feelings are our desires. We want to go do something or not do something. Maybe it's we want to do nothing. Maybe it's we want to go do something ag you know, aggressive. And then that drives the actions throughout our day. Now those actions can be productive or not productive. It's totally up to us. And so your assignment again is to teach these phases of the dark and then to go out and do this stuff. Start exploring this stuff. Start writing down. What are the triggers I'm experiencing right now? What are the feelings that I'm experiencing right now? What are the stories that I'm telling myself and others right now about this particular situation? What are the desires that I have now that I'm telling myself these stories? And what action steps am I going to take next? All right. You know what you're supposed to do. The assignment is simple. Number one is to teach. Number two is to do. I don't want you to waste any more time watching this video. Get off the video and go get, get uh, going on your assignment. We'll talk to you tomorrow.